Activity Relationship Diagram also called as Affinity Analysis Diagram but before I start please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to do more videos uh, the diagram Activity Relationship Diagram it shows the relationship of every department in a facility every department office or service area with every other department and area Okay, um, which which shows as in this figure the relationship between every department or office with each other. It answers the question: How important is it for this department, office, or service facility to be close to another department, office, or service facility? How important to be placed adjacent to one another? So in a way, we're considering the facility layout within the facility how to place the department, the offices and serve area close to each other. This question need to be asked about the relationship of every department, office or service with every other department, office and service. Closeness codes which is, are here with a closeness code are used to reflect the importance of each relationship as a facility. Closeness code uh, as we could see here, so we have the A, which is absolutely necessary, that the two departments are next to each other, E, especially important, necessary, I, important, ordinary importance, unimportant and not desirable for the X. Okay. A new person or an outside consultant, you may need to talk with many people to determine this code, and once they are set, your arrangement of department, office and service is nearly determined for you. The codes are as follow from A to X as we've seen right now. Okay. Uh, a and E are extremely close to each other. So use the E code if there is any doubt that is an A code. Okay. For example, when we have so much material or many people they move between those two departments, but not everything or everyone moves all the time. So in a way you go for E. Let's let's explain the activity relationship diagram. So we start by writing the departments one after another as we could see here and it's trial and error. So all what you have to do is to draw a line like this and then parallel line to it, parallel line to it, and parallel line all the way down. And the same here, parallel line till they intersect. Okay, so to start with the, the relationship between the assembly and offices, you could, if you I move here, and then I move like this, it is O, and the assembly, if I move like this, and I move here between the stock room is absolutely essential, and assembly I with the shipping is unimportant, and assembly E with a break room is essentially necessary and assembly with a tool room is A. You could wonder why if there is an assembly and the tool room are absolutely necessary but we place them in this way you could say the department already exists and this is the layout of the department but in case you want to relay out to rearrange to reshuffle and replace them in a different position uh, so in order to study this activity relationship so as I said before uh, this now we are assessing the already existing one as we could see here so the relationship between the break room for example and the stock room is U unimportant between the break room and the tool room is ordinary and the break room and offices is not desirable okay uh, so this is the activity relationship diagram this is the activity relationship diagram okay um, so uh, in the next video I'm gonna consider the how to determine the relationship code for the activity relationship diagram and how to assess to assess which one is more favorable than the other okay thank you